lifestyle lovers welcome back to it's e lifestyle and if you are new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called it's e lifestyle and it is all about creating a good lifestyle okay lifestyle lovers so today marks the start of a new vlog it's friday so this is going to be a weekend vlog and i'm basically starting off the vlog with negative energy because if you've seen the last vlog, I told you guys that my, my AC unit was leaking. So I basically, I have American Home Shield and it's kind of like insurance for your home. So anytime something breaks in your home, like your refrigerator, your dishwasher, your AC unit, you call American Home Shield, they will contract a, like a specialist out here. So the person was like a, a AC company. They came out yesterday, he said the drain was clogged up, whatever drain that is, I don't know. But he had to do some stuff inside my home and then he had to go out to the AC unit. He said he uh, drained it out or, or flushed it out or whatever the case may be. He said it was a lot of gunk in it, sand, he said it was sand and all of that stuff. So he said it was fixed, he left, and now the AC is not working. <laughs> I have to go to work. I'm dressed for work, I'm about to go to work. Um, but he told me to turn it back on. I didn't even pay any attention to it until a few hours later and I noticed that the thermostat was not going down. So it's probably about 74 degrees in here now. I'm getting ready to call the AC company and see if they can come back out because we're not gonna be able to go through the weekend without any fucking AC. Sorry for my language. I'm just like, what the hell? It's still cool in here from last night, so I'm not sweating or anything. But it's probably about 8.30 in the morning. So probably about 12 o'clock, it's going to be hot as hell in here. And um, so I'm at least go in, show my presence. But if the AC company comes, I'm going to have to leave. So yeah, sorry just started off complaining, but it is what it is. So I just want to show you guys what I'm wearing to work. I just recently partnered with Venus. So this is like a two-piece set and I'm so bloated so don't pay attention. This is like a two-piece set. Now since I'm wearing it to work it is like cut a little a little low right here. So once I get off girl I'm gonna, I'm gonna be I'm gonna have it's gonna be like it's gonna be looking like Friday. So but I did like put on like a little tank so it'll be you know professional for work so you can't see all my cleavage but it's a it's a black dress which it is it's a little fitted I should have went a size up with a medium but I did go with a small and then it has a black cardigan with it you know it's comfortable for a Friday I probably wouldn't wear it Monday through Thursday and then for my shoes I'm just doing some Michael Kors flats I think I'm going to start investing in some just like more expensive flats because I need them for work. So I'm gonna go ahead, start my Friday, and then hopefully, hopefully, prayfully, they can get back out here because I think probably it was something maybe he was supposed to switch on that he didn't switch on because the AC was working before he got here. It was just leaking, but it was working. And I keep my AC on 69. It's cold as hell in my house, and that's how I like it. So I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey, lifestyle lovers, happy Saturday. My AC has not been working all night long. I think the last clip I was telling you guys that I had to call the AC company, which was yesterday before I left for work, hoping and praying that they could come yesterday, but they couldn't. So they're supposed to come out today at 11 o'clock. I think it's probably about 30 minutes away from 11 o'clock so me and my son had to kind of endure we had to kind of endure a night without any AC <laughs> y'all see I don't snatch that damn wig off my head I'm hot I'm sweating I'm ready to get my AC fixed I don't know what the hell that man could have done to make my damn AC stop working because it is not working. I'm kind of sitting in front of my um my patio with the screen with the sliding glass door open, but it's it's hot. It's hot as hell, and I'm about to burn the hell up. 
So this is the stuff that people do not tell you about home ownership. <laughs> stuff do break down. It is not about home tours and home decor. Things do break down in your home, even in new homes, because I've had a new home <laughs> before too. So um, that's another reason I got America Home Shield. I don't know if I told you guys, but that's a good thing to have. It's kind of like insurance for appliances in your home because if those things break down you have to come up with two to three thousand dollars to replace them but in the event that they can't fix it they'll replace it so i just wanted to check in with you guys i'm gonna just wait on the ac people hopefully they will come but i'm miserable right now i'm miserable as hell in this goddamn hot ass house shit okay y'all <laughs> i'll talk to y'all later hey lifestyle lovers so i'm just checking back in with you guys um it has been a hell of a day and when i say hell i mean h-e-l-l -L of a day so I think the last time I checked in with you guys, I was waiting on the AC company to come fix my AC. They never came. They were supposed to come at 11 o'clock, didn't show up. So 12 o'clock I called their office and of course it sent me the voicemail. I left a voicemail, didn't receive a response. Um, so I end up texting the technician who came out a few days ago and he said he wasn't working a day he didn't have any information that he was supposed to be returning to my residence to fix anything i reached out to america home shield complained to them I, I was on the verge of just going to get like a hotel at the beach which when i started looking up prices it was probably about 300 dollars a night um so I got on YouTube, thank God for YouTube in more ways than one. So I just started troubleshooting some things. One of them was like, put a cup of bleach down your, um, down your AC drain. I did that. Um, I pulled out my wet dry vac. It was like, push it down, you know, like try to suck water out. I did that. I flipped the breaker. I did all of the stuff at one time. I don't know which one worked, but when I did all of it, turned the AC um the AC was off I turned it back on and I sat there for a little minute my daughter came by when she got off work and I was like I think I feel air coming out the vents so the air came out the vents I'm getting ready to take a shower um and me and my friend were gonna go do something tonight I don't know if we're gonna catch a movie something to eat but whatever the case may be he's gonna be out of town for a few days so we're just gonna try to spend some time together tonight before he catches his flight in the morning. I just wanna look cute, y'all. I just wanna put on some clothes. I need a drink. This has been a hell of a day. So, hopefully I can make the rest of the day be better. I just wanted to check back in with you guys. The AC is working. It's probably about 78 degrees in here now. It started off at 81. So, the temperature is slowly going down, but just want to check back in with you guys, give you an update, and um, I probably vlog on the date, so um, I don't know where we're going yet, but I'll check back in with you guys once I get ready. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so I'm dressed and ready to head out the door, but as I'm looking outside, it's so ugly outside, so I don't know where the hell we supposed to be going. It was supposed to be dinner and a movie, but there's not any good movies playing that I can see. Um, there is a movie called Black Phone, but it doesn't come out until June the 24th. Um, and then, so I think the other choices was Jurassic Park. I don't watch no mess like that. And Top Gun, and I don't, I'm not interested in no mess like that. I like horror movies, and I like, like, African-American uh, love films, like, love jones and brown sugar i like films like that other than that it has to be like a horror or, or a thriller i'm not interested in sci-fi and all that other silly stuff like jurassic park i couldn't get into any of that um oh 
running out of memory. First, I'm gonna just show you guys what I'm wearing. The dress is from Venus. So I just did a collaboration with Venus and this was one of the maxi dresses. It's really, really long. And then it has like a little peekaboo back. So I pretty much paired it with my um, Gucci slides, which are super duper old. And, and then I have my Gucci Soho bag, which is also super duper old. I just kind of pulled this stuff out because I never wear it. So I was kind of trying to give it some play. But if I was to pair this with any new Gucci items, if I didn't have my hair this way, I would do like the Gucci fedora hat and like some tan Gucci slides. I think I want that hat. It's like $390. I don't think I want to pay no $390 for that. But um, so I'm waiting on my friend to come pick me up. But I'm looking outside. It's so ugly outside. It's dark. It looks like it's going to rain. So I don't know where the hell we're going. Let me show you guys how it looks outside. Because it looks ugly. So this is what the sky looks like. Overcast, cloudy. Kind of look like it might pour, pour down. So I really don't know where we're going to go with the weather looking like this. I didn't know. I know it rained earlier, but I didn't know that it was looking this gloomy outside. So, so I guess I'll wait till he gets here before we decide what the plan is going to be. <laughs> and it's what time? About 11. About 11. <laughs> About 11. Okay. So we got to catch, what is it, black phone? Black phone. Mm -hmm. I got to go watch the trailer for that. I'm going to watch that when we get back in the car. Black phone doesn't come out until June the 24th, right? I think 4th, yeah. 24th or the 26th. All right, lifestyle lovers, head it home, night night. Hey, lifestyle lovers, happy Sunday. So today is Sunday. I'm getting ready to walk out the door. I'm gonna meet my daughter for brunch because we didn't meet for, we were supposed to do brunch last weekend if you guys seen that vlog, but we didn't. So we decided just to push it to this weekend. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm a little hot because I decided to wear a sweatshirt but we're eating we're dining inside so typically it's kind of cool in the restaurants and this sweatshirt is not real thick but i'm a little bit hot in nature but i got on my daisy zoots girl so this and i just put a white a white um collared shirt 
just to give it that little look. So it says creme de la creme, honey. So I shared this, this sweatshirt um, a few vlogs back. I got it from Amazon. So if it's available, I'll link it. And then I have on my little cut off shorts. And then I am wearing my new um, Jordan ones in the color green. It has a little bit of yellow in it. And to pair with the green, I am going to tote my Goyard bag. So hopefully, so since I have on like some short shorts, hopefully it'll balance everything out. Um, but we're dining inside. We'll probably snap a few photos outside because they do have a rooftop. But yeah, so I got on my little Daisy Dukes. I'm gonna tell you guys, I get like my fashion sense from my mom. My mama used to dress her behind off. And in her 40s, this is how she used to dress. She would wear short shorts. My mom did not start dressing kind of like um, older, if you want. I, maybe that's a good term for it, until she got in her 50s, which she passed away in her 50s. But I did not have a Mary Poppins mom. I had a, like, hot girl mama. My mama was a hot girl, and she would tell it just like it is so um i think i get like the way i dress for my mom because back then when my mama would have on something like this me and my brother we would be embarrassed because we're the two youngest so my daughter she said I'm, I'm not my daughter but my sister is seven years older than me but me and my brother were still the babies so when my mama would wear these little shorty shorts me and my brother be embarrassed but Times have changed. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'll check back in with you guys once I get to the restaurant. I ran up a check, I might do it again. And the me's close, have me thinking they're friends. Tent. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so we finally got seated. Nurse period pool. Hey y'all, hey lifestyle lovers. She over there trying to get her content, so y'all make- my tripod. Girl, I'm that's a raggedy creator. tripod. I'm a content creator, too. That's her tripod <laughs> from Hobby Life. Thank you. <laughs> so we finally got seated. Check out the brunch menu, because I'm hungry. We both are hungry. My stomach been growling, and I'm ready to eat. So it did start raining, too. So yeah. Let's see brunch. It's my first time here. It's her first time here. Child, I've been here a lot of times. Wait, y'all know who. We ain't gonna say his name, child. But he in the past. He in the past. <laughs> I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free to the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, Euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what, told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. I do roll like a Mack truck, country heart. I'ma cop a farm and go act up. Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up. Keep it real, I do this once a month. I don't rap much. I just take the money and go stack up. Only buying car heart, car car, take it tatted up. All that other bull, it don't matter much. You only climb me, I put the ladders up. No fault. I done doubled up on the workload I think I fell in love with the bankroll Pray up, get money, then we lay low Then we lay low Add it up, add it up. Bankroll. bankroll Euro, peso, peso. Add, it up. add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll. bankroll Euro, Euro. Peso. peso Add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up Add it up Okay, lifestyle lovers, so brunch is over We're in the restroom 
freshening up because we're gonna take some content before we leave the restaurant. I want you guys to see these mirrors. Look at those mirrors. I, I like those. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen those mirrors somewhere before, but these are the mirrors that they have in the bathroom at River Street. So. We're gonna take some content. My daughter's trying to get me to cook some crabs today. <laughs> she was like, Ma, you don't wanna cook no crabs, huh? I done asked about five times now. I might, I might. I might. I might, I might, I might. I might. Y'all see Big Booty Judy? Can I put, can I put the camera on your booty? <laughs> Ma, what? Big Booty Judy. <laughs> Big Booty Judy. Love the way she shake it. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Lifestyle lovers, this y'all favorite nurse. Nurse period pool. pool. Y'all check out her Gucci platforms. Oh yes. Cute. Now she get that little side from her mama child. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she, she get that little designer side from her mama. I'm feeling like a designer mommy. When she feel like spending a little coin. Cause how much those sandals on there? Six. She got it like that. She, she got it like that, y'all. Life's all over. But I had, but I had to pay for brunch. Though. I had to pay for brunch. But she, she said I had to tell y'all all that. But she got it like that, apparently. That's because you the mama. No, 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 no. I, 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 I don't want to be no mama. You the mama. I don't want to be no mama. Look out for your children. <laughs> the grown ones too. Y'all look out for the grown ones too. The grown ones too. No, not yes. this. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to be baby like Mookie. <laughs> Child, I'm Mookie be. <laughs> they be, that's, they be that's, fighting that's, like cats and dogs. They be fighting like cats and dogs. Near on the titty though. Mookie ain't on the titty. <laughs> I, I got. I, this is what I got to put in near mouth once, once a, once a week, y'all. <laughs> Don't push. <it. laughs> okay, lifestyle lover. So we came over here to get a little content. So you may see some pictures on IG. I got to look at it and see what looks good. Near it, somebody don't show nobody that dirty water. Yeah, that's coffee water. Baby, this is the St. John's River. Dirty. Ain't this the St. John's River? You don't even know. I don't know either. I think it's the St. John's River. <laughs> Baby, this is Duval. Duval is... Duval got coffee water. Yeah, y'all know du Duval. We're, we're a hot mess. In we're a hot mess. <laughs> we're a real, real hot mess. Yeah, that's the St. John's River. So I guess today is over with. Not necessarily. I'm waiting on my mama to cook crabs. She waiting on me to cook crabs. I think I want to go to Express though. No, I want to go. I, I ain't got to go. If you want to go, I'm going to go. I, I know I ain't driving all the way out there. I'm, I'm getting go. hot. I can go to Oso on my next off day, guys. What you got to get from Oso? Some new makeup because I done got darker. <laughs> oh, okay. You need some darker. Some what makeup you wearing right now? Um, what am I maybe that's what I need some darker L. makeup. L. L. Oh, okay. Something I can concoct up, but I ain't got time to keep concocting up stuff because I'm darker. Yeah, you always get darker during the summertime, so you have Especially to since I've been on that change your makeup. I think I'm a 385 in the fancy right now, but it's working. I mean, I, I haven't been having any issues with it. Okay, y'all. I'll check back in. I don't know what's the, what's the next plan, but we'll see. we'll see. And I'll check back in with you guys happy in a little Sunday, bit. Happy Sunday, lifestyle lovers. Nearest say happy Sunday. Did you almost fall? Look at that crack. Girl, I wish I would have caught that on camera. Did y'all see that? Do not put that in the vlog if you did. <laughs> she almost fell in them six hundred dollar Gucci platforms. <laughs> Girl. Happy Sunday, lifestyle lovers. Honey, cause these is heels. They are heels. Me, my won't be buying them. Cause me, my don't do the heels, baby. Let's just for a meeting, a business meeting. All right, y'all. Check back in later. Later.
Okay, lifestyle lovers, as you can see, we have took it from brunch <laughs> to, to a crab. To crab. <laughs> Just that fast. So after that's we a left, girl for you. yeah, that's definitely that's that might be Duval. Is that's that all new, Florida? That's, that's a Florida girl for you. That's a Florida girl. Nira says it's a Florida girl. So when we left brunch, she went to get the crabs. I went to get everything to put in it. The only thing we got. As far as fixings was some fresh corn because we don't we do not do frozen corn. Sure don't. And then I got some broccoli in there. So we are gonna do some veggies. Well, um these crabs are so good. They are. Nobody can cook crabs better than me. Okay. <laughs> this is not up for debate. Y'all have my daughter. What she said? <laughs> Can't nobody cook crabs better than your mama. Can't nobody cook crabs better than my mama. I'm fine. And as Nene said, we said what we said. Yep. So it's hot out here. So we made some, um, well I made some frozen, some like wine slushies. So I'll just link the um, the recipes for this in the description box, but it's just wine, frozen fruit, and simple serves. So just some wine slushies. The idea actually came from when I was in here the other night with no damn AC, <laughs> and I wanted some damn wine, but I wanted to stay cool. So I ended up making some wine slushies. And they were good, so I just made them again. So we're just gonna go ahead, um, enjoy our crabs. It's Sunday evening. I have to work tomorrow. My daughter have to work tomorrow. So we're still gonna enjoy our Sunday. We just gonna enjoy the rest of our Sunday lifestyle lovers. Say bye to the vlog, Nurse PP. <laughs> Nurse bye. Peria Poo. Bye, lifestyle lovers. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Hey, lifestyle lovers. Happy Monday. So today is Monday. I know I look a hot mess, but um, I just got home from work probably about 30 minutes ago, and I'm so exhausted. I really want to lay down and take a nap, but I know that I have prolonged cleaning out these cabinets long enough. I was supposed to do this last week, so I'm going to work on it for about an hour. I don't know if I'm going to get finished. Um, but I'm going to work on it for about an hour. As you can see, I have like some boxes, like some thin boxes that I'm going to add my dishes in. Now, everything that I pull out is not going to make it back in there. I may either donate some stuff to the Goodwill or give some stuff away because this is going to be my opportunity to get organized. So I don't plan on buying any new dishes. Not right now. I'm just going to organize what I have and that way I can kind of see what I need and then I'll buy maybe some new dishes in the future. But I, I don't I don't plan on buying any new dishes right now. But just kind of to show you guys what I'm working with. So this cabinet up here over the refrigerator, that is where I keep all of my grill and stuff at. So I know all of my grill um, accessories are there. This is where all of my glasses are located. So I have like mugs down here, mostly like just wine glasses and mugs. This cabinet right here just has miscellaneous stuff. That's like a pancake bowl. That's my crab dish. That's the onion dish. Just like miscellaneous stuff. This is when I used to have my Keurig. Um, and then, what is that? That's an egg cooker that my daughter bought me. This cabinet has plasticware. As you can see, it's a hot ass mess. And then at the top, I just have my Purex containers. And then over here, this is where my dishes are located. These are all like my CB2 stuff. And then over here is just junk. So I have like some spray paint up there, some putty, some lunch pails. So all of that has to get cleaned out.
lifestyle lover so i failed to turn the camera back on once i turned it off but i'm actually almost done i got all of these cabinets done um and it was real easy when it came to the plastic because basically anything that did not have a top i just threw away so these are these are glass these are my purex bowls so this is what i use like to store food in and i think one of you lifestyle lovers asked me about these they all come with tops so you can kind of store them they're like space savers so you can kind of store it like that and then i put this top on here and then the big top so basically this is how you store these but these came from bed bath and beyond i will link these below it's like 25 to 30 all of them come with lids and these are my rubber made so these like i'll send home with someone like if someone comes over and you're trying to send some leftovers i try not to but i definitely my purex they don't go anywhere those are for home and then i have these little like for dipping like if you're eating crab crab legs for butter and then these as well so if it didn't have a top i threw it away far as my plastic is concerned which left me with a very small amount um and then for my glasses which are over here I just kept a set of four. So I got a set of four of those, a set of four of the blue ones, and then a set of four of these. And then those and all of this stuff, I'll either give away or donate to the Goodwill. This one with all the junk in it, I don't think I'm gonna fool with that tonight because I'm already tired. I had a long day at work and I, I really just wanna lay down but I at least got started so so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and clean out the last cabinet get the plates out and then I think I'll be done for tonight because I'm tired <sighs> okay lifestyle lover so I think I'm done for today I just wanted to show you guys my collection of Starbucks cups now I probably ran all around Jacksonville to try to get these cups and I don't even use them I remember when these came out, these studded cups, I wanted this cup so, so bad. I went all around town trying to find it. So these are my Starbucks cups. I got the red studded one and then the tie-dye one and then the clear and then the matte black. And this was a Christmas mug. And then I have my Lexus cup. You would think my Lexus was brand new, how I'd be repping it. So this is some of the stuff that where the plates were. And then over here, this is my plates. So these came from Amazon. I love these plates. These are the square plates with the saucers and the bowls. I'll link them if you're interested. This is my salad bowl. This is from CB2. Oh, shoot. These are also from CB2. I have a set of four plates and two bowls. One is in the washer. And these plates are from the Dollar Tree. So I purchased these plates when I had like a large brunch. And I just use these as everyday plates because they were a dollar. Now these, I know they're old fashioned y'all. But these plates is what left of when I moved in my first home, my mom bought me the apple plate set because I used to have an apple kitchen and I used to have the grapes kitchen. So these are very, very old, <laughs> very old. And this is what's left. But my mom bought me this, um, these plate sets and I just don't want to, I don't want to part with them. I know they're old and old fashioned and outdated, but I just want to keep them. And these are just some um, some dishes that are uh, oven safe. So that's pretty much, I'm done. I'll tackle that maybe tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in the morning. I'm about to lay down and take me a nap because I'm tired. <laughs>
morning, lifestyle lovers. I'm trying to get this dishwasher to stop because it won't shut the hell up. Shut up. Okay. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. As you can see, we woke up hitting the ground running. Brian was here. Um, so he just basically took all of the cabinet doors off. He's going to take them to his shop to be prep for the cabinet refacing all of the doors are gone um both bottom and the top um and i'm going to do a separate video just notating the step-by-step -step process he did degrease these so the next order of business starts in the morning i don't know how much of that that i'm going to be able to film because he said because of the fumes, I'm probably going to need to either get out the house or stay away from the kitchen. This particular part will have to be um, blocked off with some type of plastic. So um, this is going to be my opportunity to get organized. I've cleared my cabinets. Everything that I took out, I think I told you guys, will not be going back in. So this is going to be my opportunity to kind of get rid of some stuff, some old dishes, pots that I'm not using. I really just want to keep, um, you know, like my good pots and stuff like that. And I do have some old pots that I don't even use. So I'll be donating them to the Goodwill. <laughs> we did come across a leak that I had under my cabinet. So we have to address that. It's, when you're getting home renovations done, you're always going to run into some type of hurdle so I need to probably call American Home Shield um, to address that leak um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog here I am working from home I'm just gonna work around Brian's schedule this week and I'm just gonna work remotely um, but I don't I need to kind of finish up my work and as you can see the kitchen is a mess but we're getting started so that's the most important thing so this is the end of this vlog and i don't know if i'm going to start another one but um but yeah so next time you guys see this kitchen these cabinets are going to be white i'm going to tell you one thing he did tell me which i already knew so once they do the countertops which is probably not going to be until next month I don't know if I'm going to schedule that before or after my vacation, but these are not included in the countertops. So basically when they insert the countertops, it's going to be, this is, I can't, for, this is, they call this backsplash, but this is not going to be a part of it. So it's just going to be a countertop. Just imagine this not being included. So, and I, I knew that. I was going to have to get the countertops installed before I take the back the bike splash down. So this back splash is what I selected pretty much when I first purchased my townhome. Um I kind of wanted to go I kind of wanted something that went with the countertops. Um but that's no longer the case anymore since the countertops are being changed out. So once they do the countertops, he's going to we're going to replace the back the back splash. So it's kind of, it's it's a lot of work to be done upcoming. I'm gonna change my sink out to a deep, deep undermount sink. And he said that that's gonna change the plumbing. So a plumber is gonna have to do that. And I'm thinking about switching the dishwasher out to a wine cooler. So it's a lot of work to be done, but we're getting started. That's it. I've talked too long, lifestyle lovers. I hope you have a great week, a great weekend whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye, y'all.